Hi, I'm Jeff with Miss Kate, and I'm going to show you our new and improved cutting mats, cutting on a Pazzles machine. I have the Pazzles view here, and let's cut some shapes. So you can see on the sides that our mat is a little bit more narrow than the Pazzles mats, and the margins on the Pazzles mats, this is a print and cut mat, it is a lot taller. So if I have a 2x2 two two piece of cardstock that I want to cut something out on, I can put it in the corner, and then when I load the Pazzles mat, I put one side in first, and then I go to the other side. And you do have to manually center the mat on the Pazzles machine. It's really not a big deal. Um, I put a small amount of force against the mat, pushing it firm against the rollers, because that's what's going to make it load straight. It does scan for the little black box for the print and cut mat, but this is not print and cut. So you can see that it cut right where I wanted on the square, on the 2x2. Two two. These Pazzles machines, there's the heart. They have a lot of force. and. I'm always turning the force down on the Pazzles machines. If you wanted to do print and cut, obviously our mats are not going to work with a print and cut because they don't have the little marks on the sides and look how much taller. They're twice as tall across the top. So they don't work for print and cut. What you could do if you need a new mat and you still have your Pazzles mat is do what I've done to our brother mats. I just cut the center out and then taped the mat in. You could do that with these Pazzles mats to refresh the adhesive. And then you could use Miss Kate mats in print and cut on the Pazzles machine. So you can see that our mats do work in the Pazzles machines. Just remember to center the mat yourself and then it will just cut where you want it to cut. But you can use your scraps with ease.